Hello and welcome to Signature TV News Highlights for this Wednesday. I am Anita Eze. President Muhammad Buhari on Tuesday met with the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. Professor Yakubu, who stated on May 27th that its offices and facilities have been attacked 41 times within the last two years and 11 offices have either been set ablaze or vandalized in the last four weeks, was joined by five Independent National Electoral Commission's commissioners at the meeting held at the First Lady's conference room at the State House in Abuja concerning the recent attacks on the Independent National Electoral Commission's facilities across the country. On Monday, the election agency vowed to conduct the Anambra governorship election, which is scheduled to hold on November 6th, despite increasing levels of insecurity across the country. The management of the Federal University Oye Ekiti Ekiti State has launched a thorough investigation into an allegation of sexual harassment against two lecturers of the same department in diversity. Dr. Dyson Mbachaga and another lecturer both in the theatre and media arts department were accused of sexually harassing different female students of the institution. The development, which was disclosed on Tuesday, June 1st, by the Chief Information Officer to the Vice-Chancellor, Folusho Ogumodede, noted that Mbachaga, an associate professor, was suspended on the grounds of a clear evidence of sexual harassment established against him by a panel set up by the institution Faculty of Arts, which investigated the allegation. According to Ogun Modede, the suspension, which was with immediate effect, would pave way for the committee to further probe the allegation and added that the current management of the university would do its best to clean the system of all vices. Operatives of Western Nigerian Security Network, popularly called Amote Kukops, have arrested Motiu Abdurashid, a 40-year-old herbalist for selling human parts. Oyo Amote Commandant, Colonel Olayinka Ola Yanju, who recovered exhibits from him, such as a human skull, human bones, severed hands, locally made guns, cutlasses, charms, and amulets, said that Abdul Rashid belongs to a gang that specialized in obtaining human body parts by killing or exhuming fresh cops as they cut this body into pieces and sell them. Their Amotaku chief disclosed that they had been on Abdul Rashid's tail for months and engaged a young man as a mole before they were able to arrest him in the midnight of Saturday, and he was paraded by Amotaku operatives on Tuesday, as he further disclosed that the suspect will be transferred to the state police command for further investigation. Abdul Rashid said he had never killed anybody before, but confessed to exhuming dead bodies, a craft he had learned from his master, under whom he trained as a herbalist in Apomu, Oshun State. No fewer than 60 residents of Easy, a Kile ward of Ado local government area of Benue State, were killed by suspected felony headsmen during the weekend. Governor Autumn's deputy, Engineer Benson Abunu, confirmed this on Tuesday while addressing hundreds of residents who were displaced as a result of the attack. Abonu called on President Muhammadu Buhari, the Sultan of Sokoto, Lamido of Adamawa, and other opinion leaders in the north to caution Fulani headsmen over the current genocide in the states. According to him, their intervention could deter them from carrying out further attacks and killings in the country. Abductors of the over 136 students and staff of Saliyu Tanko Islamia School, Tejuna, in the Rafi local government area of Niger State are demanding the sum of 110 million naira as a ransom for the safe release of the victims. As they threaten to kill the victims should the school or their parents fail to meet their demands by midnight of Tuesday. The head teacher of the school, Abu Bakr Hal Hazan, disclosed this to newsmen on Tuesday, adding that the bandits' call came in about 4 p.m. on Monday. According to reports, parents and relations of the abductees have begun to raise money to take to the bandits as the management of the school contacted the state government on the latest development and the government insists on not paying ransom to the bandits. Safety and security begins with you. Be patriotic. Report any suspicious activity to law enforcement agencies. Please stay safe. That's the Signature TV News highlight. For details, visit www.signaturetv.org and please do join us later in the evening for Signature TV News updates. On behalf of my producer, Nasiru Usman, thanks for watching. I am Anita Eze.